So I've reached where I'm going to camp. I've chosen this little spot here. It's a nice little clearing between two sort of plantations of the woods. Uh, I've got birch trees this side and pine that side. So I've got a pretty good uh, lot of resources. There's also a little stream just running around here. So I'm going to regret that later when the mozzies come out. But uh, first things first, let's get set up and camp. First thing I'm going to need is my axe because I need to make a tripod for this shelter setup that I'm going to do today. Looks like I've hit the mother load here. Three perfectly straight rods. Perfect. Wow, stinky mushroom. I believe this is the uh, known as the stink horn. Right, it lives up to its name. Right, got everything I need now. I've got my three poles and I've got my cordage here. So let's make a tripod. As you can see, shelter's now up. I'm just going to quickly knock off all the, uh, the protruding bits and I'm going to throw my...
set up and ready to go. Now, let's get fire going. Right, that's the fire pit bug. Now to get some wood. Because these bugs are eating me alive. Grab some of that. Right, let's get this fire started. Today I'm using the, uh, oh, where is it? The old flint and steel. In conjunction with a shed load of birch bark. Because this stuff is Lazy man's fat wood. There it is. That's what we're after. Ah, we have fire. Got a little bit of food on now. Time to just chill out. Got camp set up and everything. So I'm just gonna chill out, have some food. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Right, now my water's on the boil uh, for some dinner. I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk, see if I can, I can forage anything or uh, 
and I'm also going to take some pictures. Seeing as I'm filming this on a DSLR, I might as well use it for its intended purpose. If you are interested in seeing any of the photos I do take, uh, check my Instagram. I'll leave it in the description below. I'm a lot more active on there than I am YouTube. And I'll, hopefully you'll enjoy my feed. It's dinner time. Got some venison steak here. So whilst I was out foraging earlier, I uh, came across some dryad saddle, which I'm going to have with my dinner. So a couple of little uh, dryad saddles, chunk that one missing, be alright. It doesn't smell too good, it's the first time I've had it, um, but I'm going to chop it up and put it in my rice and have it with my steaks. So. There we are, that's a uh, piece de la resistance. Mushrooms and rice. First time eating uh, foraged mushrooms. So I'm a little bit apprehensive, but we'll see. So I've just realised I've not actually explained my sleeping system and the entire point I'm making a video about this. <laughs> but uh, So yeah, I'll just explain my sleeping system real quick. Up top here we've got the uh, Ensamavagen tarp. This is um, Norwegian army. I think it's surplus now, but uh, it's bomb proof bit of gear. It's cotton canvas. Uh, it's also a poncho and you can, you got, it's got all these uh, buttons along the side so you can lash it up. Uh, these buttons here. You can uh, lash it up with other tarps and you can make sort of 16 man shelters if you've got enough of them. And then next thing down we've got the wool blanket, merino wool 100%, super warm. And then just an old poncho which I'm using as a ground sheet. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably wrap myself up in the poncho as well as the wool blanket just to keep myself warm tonight. Obviously I've got the fire as well. But that's my sleep kit. Uh, Probably pull my jacket up and use that as a pillow. I've got an extra layer in my bag. That's the point. The bag, because I'm sure I'll get a comment about that. It's a Lafuma uh, frame canvas and leather metal back plate here. Some nice wool. Uh, wool shoulder pads there as well. The axe is pretty new. You guys haven't seen this before. It's a Wetlings uh, Hudson Bay axe. It's really nice. It's my favourite bit of kit at the moment. Uh, dinner is served, so we got the uh, rice and stuff in there. I'll just get the steaks. Oh, balls. There we go. A bit flawed about it, and I think, oh, God, that looks good. So let's try this rice and mushroom then. I bet it tastes alright because I'm really hungry. There you go. A big chunk on there.
Hmm. It's, it's a bit slimy in texture. Uh, I can't really taste it though. Yeah, I could just taste a hint of mushroom in there. But uh, the rice flavouring in this, the curry flavouring in this rice is uh, sort of overpowering it. But all in all, I'll give it a thumbs up. As you can probably see, it's been raining pretty much all night. Uh, tents, or oh, tent, tarps held up pretty well. Uh, pretty cold now though. Only a wool blanket last night, so I'm going to go get a fire going now and then get some food on. Let's get this fire started. Right, so I've gathered, gathered some uh, thistles here, and what I'm going to do with these is uh, get it in focus. There we go. What I'm going to do with these is just chop off the spiny bits, then I'm going to boil them up in some water, and uh, I'm going to have that with my breakfast. Right, I've got my water on the go now. Uh, I've got my uh, deep rickled just the leaves and just pop those in the water there. Hopefully that will make a tasty addition to my bacon this morning. I decided to forego the bacon and have a mackerel instead. I feel like being a bit more bushcrafty. There we go. That's breakfast served. Let's give it a go. Get some of this thistle a go. Doesn't really taste of much. Mmm, this mackerel's good though. No flavour at all in that. That's it for me today guys, thanks for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm going to get packed up now and head on home, so thanks again for watching, if you're interested I'll leave my Instagram in the, comment, in the description box below, uh, check that out, I'm, like I said earlier I'm a hell of a lot more active on there than I am on YouTube.
because it's so much easier.